friends, I'm Valeria from Chase and Paper. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone had wonderful and happy holidays. And I am here to share another fun, crafty project with you. I am going to show you how I use my freezer paper and paper napkins to create lots of fun additions to my junk journals. We are going to look at four different projects and there is plenty more but I just want to share these four simple ones today. So I'm going to show you what I have here on my desk. But before we begin, please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more paper crafting ideas. All right, so here we have a quick and easy policy envelope made with a paper napkin. This one is empty and you can put tons of goodies in there and it showcases your beautiful napkin really well. Here is another one. Next, I have a couple of coin pockets. These are really simple as well. And they allow you to showcase your beautiful napkins that you have in your stash and use them up and make something really fun to add to your junk journal or to your happy mail. And look what you can make with just a simple free napkin from a fast food place. We have this fancy envelope, it opens up. You can put any sorts of goodies inside this envelope. And the back is also very pretty. And last but not least, I have this fun little project. This is a trifold folio. Let's open it up and take a look inside. So it opens up like this and folds out. And here inside you have all sorts of goodies in your pockets on the sides and in the middle. This is a beautiful addition to any junk journal and really easy and fun to make. Now, why do I love using freezer paper so much with my napkins? Well, that's simple. Freezer paper allows you to make your napkin stronger. Now I have tons of pretty napkins, but they're just too flimsy to use alone, right? There's not a whole lot you can do with them. Now the freezer paper is going to add strength to your napkins. So it's going to add integrity and it's going to add that nice little crinkle that we love so much when we're working with our paper. So what do you say? Ready to see how we turn my ordinary paper napkins and freezer paper into junk journaling treasures? Great, let's begin. All we need to get started is our freezer paper. Freezer paper is plastic coated, which is exactly what we needed. So we are going to tear a sheet of freezer paper. Next, I have a stack of pretty napkins here. And we are going to choose some napkins to work with. And also I have some napkins from like a fast food place brown mcdonald's napkins these were great as well all right let's work with this one and this one kind of is separating already so the first ply came off fairly easily the trick to separating your napkin plies easily is scotch tape so i tore a little piece of scotch tape stick it onto the corner and here we go the napkin just pulls apart easily. Now open your freezer paper, make sure that the shiny side is facing up, place your napkin on your paper. Before you start ironing, your paper kind of wants to roll, but that's okay, we can make it work. Now I like to use a piece of parchment paper on top. This is your parchment or baking paper. And the reason I put it on top is so that I don't transfer any plastic coating onto my hot iron. My iron is nice and hot. I set it to linen, which is the hottest setting on my iron. And my steam function is off. And I'm starting to press this napkin. Make sure to spend enough time on each area of the napkin. And then I'm going to take this parchment paper off and put it aside. And I'm going to flip 
my freezer paper with the napkin on it. And I'm going to go over the back side. This helps um, to melt that plastic coating onto the paper, which creates a bond, which is what's going to keep um, our napkin bonded to our paper. All right, let's flip it over one more time. I'm gonna go over it one more time. I'm going to be really careful not to touch any freezer paper with my iron. And as you can see, this napkin is already bonded to the freezer paper. This is a really strong bond. Let's set it aside and let it cool. Meanwhile, let's do another napkin. And this time I'm going to work with this fast food brown napkin. So these napkins are usually really thin and they usually one ply. So you don't even have to separate it. Just open your freezer paper, shiny side up. This napkin is a little bit bigger than my freezer paper, but that's okay. I probably won't use the whole sheet for my project anyways, so I'm going to roll with it. Now let me protect my iron <laughs> with this parchment paper in between. I'm flipping it over and going to go over the back a couple of times. And I'm peeling it. I'm going to put it aside to cool. Now that my napkins are nice and cool and fully and completely attached to my freezer paper, I am going to go ahead and cut them out. So I'm just cutting along the edge of my napkin. So what we have now is our napkin that we began with, but it's on the paper. It's a strong paper with a beautiful crinkly texture and just hear that sound. Oh, I just love it. Perfect texture, great look. What's not to like? Let's do the next one. So this napkin didn't exactly um, fit onto my piece of freezer paper, but that's okay. I'm just going to cut it roughly along the edge. It's just going to be a little bit smaller than the original napkin. Here's our napkin. And I went ahead and I prepared couple of other napkins off camera, just a little variety to work with. And I recommend that if you work with your different napkins, you do the same. You kind of want to press a bunch of napkins down so that you don't have to go back for each napkin and warm up your iron and do all that good stuff. So just make a bunch up and they're really easy to store along with your um, scrapbook and paper stash. Now, what can we do with all these pretty napkins? Well, there are tons of things you can do with them. At this point, this is a strong pattern paper and you can use it for any project. But let's go ahead and try a couple. Let's start with the most simple one, which is a policy envelope. So for the size reference, this napkin measures about 10 inches by 10 inches. It's a square napkin. So I'm going to flip it over and fold the sides up to form a rectangle. There. And there. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold up the bottom like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And I'm going to cut these parts off because we don't need them to close our bottom. So I'm just going to follow along the crease and all the way up to here. Same on this side. And 
and down this way and I'm going to cut little corners off here so it looks nicer when it's closed and folded there like that now I'm going to fold the top part of our policy envelope down about this much which is about two inches nice and sharp crease and again I'm going to cut out this piece right here and this piece because we don't need that now that we fully cut out our policy envelope let's go ahead and glue it closed i'm going to put a little glue right here and flip it closed like that and then i'm going to put some glue on the bottom so this white part right here and close it And look at that, our envelope is coming together really nicely. And now I'm going to round the corners on this opening top flap. Now let's go ahead and add a closure. I'm going to use my one inch circle punch and this gold metallic cardstock. Now we got to punch a hole in the middle. I'm just using my Crapadal Big Bite to make a small little hole in the center. And that's mostly because I misplaced my handheld hole puncher. So I'm using this. And we got a little hole in the center. Now I want to find where I'm going to place this circle on my closure. And somewhere around here looks good, not too close to the edge. I don't want it sticking out. And I'm going to mark this hole and I'm going to punch on my mark. And now I'm going to use a gold paper fastener. I'm putting a circle right on top of that hole we just punched and placing my bread right inside and opening the prongs up flatten them out and now I'm going to use some gold thread to add to the closure so I'm going to tie it right here with a double knot and now I am going to wrap it around the envelope just like that vertically and i'm gonna go around our circle and come down here and i'm going to snip the thread off right there and here's our policy envelope the back the front what a great addition to your junk journal, don't you think? Now let's look at our next napkin. For these kind of napkins, I like to make something smaller, like um, coin envelopes. Now coin envelopes are really easy to make. I am going to use my coin envelope template, which I have a great tutorial for. Um, I'm going to link that video below in the description so that you can see it if you'd like. And so I'm going to place this template down. I want my bird to be visible, so I'm going to make sure to cover the bird. And I'm sort of sliding that template down just a little bit because I want to make sure I have enough room to make two coin envelopes out of this beautiful napkin so that we could use it up to the max. And I am tracing my template. And now I'm going to cut it out right on the lines that I traced. Let's fold this piece. Good. 
going to put a little glue on the side flap and the bottom flap and we are going to close it and here's what our coin envelope looks like i think it turned out really pretty and of course you can add any embellishments that you like but i think this napkin is already so pretty that it doesn't really require any embellishments you could just put some goodies inside and tuck it into your junk journal and it's going to be a really fun piece to discover and now we are going to work with our brown fast food napkin so i just realized that i wasn't filming for a few minutes but it's okay because i didn't get far so i'm going to tell you exactly what i did i am planning on making an envelope out of this napkin so i started by cutting it to about 11 and a half inches long by six inches tall and then i folded it up like this and this fold is about four inches and then i folded it down right here this fold is about two inches long and i made sure to leave one inch of space between the edge of this paper right here and the crease right here this is going to allow us to place items inside easily we are going to have to decide if we want to decorate the white part of the envelope and you have so many options here you can leave it white or you can use a stencil and stencil it or you can use your rubber stamp and stamp something fun or you could glue something to make a completely different pattern and that's what i decided to do i'm going to use this scrap that i had because i think it's going to provide a really fun contrast i'm going to use my scotch permanent glue stick and apply glue to this whole part right here and now i'm going to place my paper directly on top and now i'm going to cut it along the edge and not only it's going to look pretty it's going to strengthen our flap which is the part that we're going to be opening and closing and now I went ahead and used my art glitter glue to close down the sides of the envelope. Here is what we have. Let's retrain our crease. And I am going to embellish this top flap with some vintage lace trim. So I'm going to cut it to size. And I'm going to use my Fabrifix glue. And now add in my trim. I'm going to add this plain label. I'm going to add the same label to the back and I'm going to layer that back label with a sticker there and now I'm going to add this fun little sticker to the front it looks like this lady is calling someone and I'm going to add a sticker to the top of our envelope right here. And here's our bag. And I'm going to add a couple of fake postage stamps to the bag. All set. So here's the back of our envelope. And here's the front. And we can put something really fun inside like this little vintage postcard. And another beautiful addition to your junk journal is done.
Now for my next project, I'm going to use another non-directional napkin. And this napkin measures about 10 inches by 10 inches. And we are going to make cute little trifold folio. So I'm flipping it over and I'm starting folding it like this. Now I'm going to bring this side down. Now let's open it up and fold right and left sides inwards. And these folds are going to be about um, two and a half inches wide. So like this on this side. Like this. There. Now we are going to cut out all the pieces that we don't need, which is this little rectangle, this one, this little square, and this little square right here. Right, so all these areas are going to be cut out. And I'm going to cut them out carefully. Just following my creases. Now let's go ahead and make our pockets. So the first pocket in the center is going to be actually this flap right here. And all we have to do is glue the sides. I'm going to put a little bit of art glitter glue and fold it closed like this. While the glue is drying, we are going to make two other pockets. We're going to use our off cuts. We are going to cut them to size. To make them shorter, to make them exactly the same size as that first pocket. So there we are. I am cutting it down. So now I cut out two little pieces of paper to go right here to create our side pockets. And technically I would be ready to glue them down and make them into pockets. But I decided that I don't love the look of all this white paper here. And I'm going to add some flower stickers. They're going to be sort of peeking out from inside the pockets there there we are now we're pretty much ready to add these pockets but i decided i want to decorate the top of all three pockets with washi tape so this is the tape i'm going to work with So I'm adding my washi tape along the edge, just like that. And I can fold that little piece inside to help it stick better. There. Now I'm ready to glue these pockets down going to put some glue on three sides of my pocket, the sides and the bottom. And I'm placing it down. There. This pocket is in place. 
Now let's glue down our left pocket. Again, adding some glue along the sides and the bottom. And gluing it down. Now while the glue is drying, I'm going to go ahead and round all the top corners with my corner chamber. I went ahead and I added a little um, embellishment to my left side pocket. And now let's go ahead and add some goodies into our pockets. How about this fun vintage map in our middle pocket? And this vintage paper coaster. And a Tim Holtz paper doll. We're going to add this pretty butterfly card into our right side pocket, right here. And a vintage label onto the left hand side pocket. And this fun little floral die cut. Now let's go ahead and work on the closure for our trifold. This is what it closes like with the top flap going over the side flaps. And so we need to hold it closed with something. And I decided to use this fun little die cut shape. This die cut came from this set by the paper studio and I believe I bought it at the Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to find where I need my closure to go and I'm gonna let it extend down a little bit from the edge of our flap. So about here, I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to use my awl to pierce a little hole right here through both my die cut and my flap. And now I'm going to use this tiny little paper fastener I'm going to put it through and I'm going to put it through the hole that we just pierced. And now I'm going to open the prongs in the back and flatten them out. That is the closure. And I'm going to use this twine to finish the closure off. So I'm going to go in and tie two knots to make sure it stays there, right over left, and then left over right. Now I'm going to make this end a little bit shorter. And I'm going to wrap this end once around my shape and let it hang like this and cut it right here and there it is our trifold folio is finished and so there we are my friends we made four different types of fun add-ons for your junk journals all by using the freezer paper and napkins if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and make sure to share this video with your crafty friends. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and I'll see you next time.